So once you've placed your pads and your three lead ECG, and ensure they're connected, then you're gonna turn your device on. Immediately hit manual mode confirm. Turn your dial down to the pacer. The door will open. Default settings for adult and pediatric patients are the same. So you're gonna slowly increase the output milliamp dial, turning it to the right. Slowly increase the amount of energy until capture is achieved, which is a pacing spike followed by a QRS, a widened QRS that resembles a PVC. So you'll see pacer spike QRS, pacer spike QRS. Once you get 100% capture, this is your pacing threshold. You're gonna wanna increase your output by 10%. It only increases by increments of two. The usual threshold for an adult is 40 to 70 milliamps. If the provider would like a different rate than 70, then you'll turn your dial to the right until you increase it. Once the patient is paced, if you would like to assess the underlying rhythm, you're gonna hit this four to one button and it will only deliver a pacer spike every fourth beat. And as soon as you let go of that button, it will revert back to your previous settings. If you would like to asynchronous pace, you just turn it on and it'll say asynchronous pace. Once you hit the soft key again, it will just go back to pace.